Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the brand new Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Creamy Concealer by ColourPop. I have no idea why they launched this separate from their original Pretty Fresh line, but they did and I just got it today, so here we are. We are going to be testing out these concealers, letting you guys know what I think of them and all of that. Before we get started into today's video, if you're not yet a Pervert Squad family, please subscribe. Hit that bell so YouTube alert too when I do upload a video, which is three times a week, every single week. We play around with makeup, we do reviews, lifestyle content, just a little bit of everything. So subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. The links are in the description box below. Enough of the rambling, we're just gonna get right into it. If you guys wanna know my thoughts on the brand new Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Concealer, then let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so before we jump into the actual product review, I'm actually going to apply some foundation on my skin, but first I'm gonna go into primer. I'm gonna take this Uli Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I'm just going to take some all over my skin. I had nothing on my skin, by the way, besides a moisturizer, an eye cream, and a serum. That is all. I'm just going to let that sink into my skin. So now I'm actually going to apply foundation, and I'm going to take the Morphe foundation. This is the Fluidity foundation. And to apply my foundation, I'm actually going to use the sponge from the Pretty Fresh line um, that ColourPop recently launched. I mentioned in my review video, if you saw my review video where I reviewed um, the spray, the tinted moisturizer as well as her primer i mentioned that i wasn't a fan of the sponge it's not bad but i feel like you don't need it it's also like not one of my favorite sponges okay so my foundation is applied already please excuse my eyelids if they are pink i recently reviewed the jeffree star and shane dawson palette and it stained my eyes like they don't hurt or anything they're just stained all right guys so i just changed my shirt so don't think it's like a different day or anything um and I, i'm also not liking the color pop sponge i just feel like it's drying me out so i did went ahead and wet my elf sponge which i really really like now that we have that light layer of foundation now we're going to move on to the concealers i have a darker shade to contour with and then i also have the light shade to highlight if you want to know my thoughts on these products then i'll go ahead and link that video in the eye and down below as well i also don't know if these products are breaking me out you guys i got like a really bad burn spot right here and i started to get a lot of bumps and texture on my skin i stopped using the tinted moisturizer and the primer i don't know if that's what was causing it i have no idea so wish me good luck with the concealer but anyways this is what the component looks like it comes in like a very light pink kind of packaging and then this is not glass it looks glass but it's not glass and then when you open it it has a little paddle lock flat paddle lock uh, kind of applicator i'm just going to go ahead and read some of the claims of the concealer and see what it says it's been cool that they released like a hydrating setting powder as well i think that would be so cool but anyways these are the concealers right here. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Concealer from the Pretty Fresh line. They do retail for $9, you guys. And the description is actually very short. It says, a creamy, cushiony concealer with a full coverage and a fresh, natural finish that's going to last all day. It is super blendable and loaded with skin-loving hyaluronic acid and coconut water. It is oil-free, dermatologist tested, and it is also ideal for all skin types. That's what we're going to be testing out today. And we're going to be testing out to see if those claims are true or not. So I'm going to start with the shade Light 45W to highlight underneath of my eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some. And I'm going to do what I normally do. I like the coverage, you guys. So I'm just going to highlight like that. And then I'm going to put some on the bridge of my nose as well as my forehead and on my chin. And then to contour the perimeters of my skin, I'm going to take the shade Dark 190W. Both of these do have a warm undertone, by the way. Now that we have the concealer laid on, I'm going to go ahead and take my sponge and I'm going to begin to blend out the concealer. 
Okay, so off first impressions, I thought it was going to be like a super creamy formula. Actually not too, too creamy. Now I'm going to take my Luxie small contouring brush and I'm going to begin to blend out the contour shade. I don't know what happened there. So this shade definitely has a red undertone. It is very warm and I feel like a little bit goes a really long way. I made a mistake to apply a lot. Okay, I do not look pretty at all. So I'm going to go ahead and further blend this out with my sponge. Just because something that I noticed off of first impressions is that you do not need a lot, obviously. Um, I went ham on the concealer so it's very pigmented so i am going to go ahead and try to build this up just a tad bit and i'm only going to apply a little bit and kind of fix what i did with the contour there all right guys so now that we have that blended out now i'm going to go ahead and set my skin i'm going to take the wet and wild loose powder I think I have my thoughts kind of build on the concealer as far as um, my first impressions on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pop on some brows, finish the rest of my makeup, and then come back and give you guys my final thoughts on the pre-fresh concealer. So I'll catch you guys in a Alright guys, so I am back with my makeup on. I did something very natural, I guess you can say. I mean, I just popped on some lashes. I also have the shade called root beer from this palette here and jeffree star in the shade what is it mannequin no celebrity skin so that's literally all that is on my skin back to the concealer guys so as you guys saw i did went ahead and set my entire face that's usually normally what i do i haven't applied any type of setting spray or anything just because i want to see how well the concealer wears throughout the day even though i'm not doing a check-in i'm going to go ahead and pin a comment and let you guys know how it wore just because i am going to be running errands today i have to go to home depot and you know just do things you know like adult things so i'll definitely be wearing the concealers for a couple of hours and kind of test out the waters see how they wear so i'll let you guys know that down below but off of first impressions i really 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 do like them you guys know that i'm always 100 honest and raw in my reviews and i'll let you guys know just everything in detail as far as the pretty fresh line from ColourPop, i love these two products here the primer and the setting spray are some of my favorite products i mean i'm pretty sure you guys can see i've used them quite a bit i have no idea which one of these three products was giving me like a I don't know if it was like an allergic reaction. I have no idea what exactly it was. But one of these three products that started to give me like bumps on my skin and irritation and almost like a burning sensation down here that I still have not recovered from. But as far as the concealers, I think the formula is not as hydrating as these three products right here. It's not a super mattifying formula either. I feel like it's more in between like a radiant kind of finish. More of like a natural finish, I guess you can say. These products here are a bit more on the dewier side, but as far as the concealers, I feel like any skin type can take advantage of the concealers just because as you guys saw when I was applying them, they're not dewy, like crazy dewy, but they're also not matte. So I feel like the formula is just perfect for any skin type, whether you're oily, combination, normal, or dry skin. I also do think that these are full coverage and they're also pretty blendable, meaning they're very easy to blend on the skin i really like them and they do remind me of a higher end concealer and that is the Too faced concealer something else that i forgot to mention is that i do think that this is a very pigmented concealer meaning you don't need a lot of product um, especially if you're going to buy a shade to contour with this will work just fine for me as you guys can see i love the way that it blended and i love the shade as well it does have a red undertone which you guys know if you guys are ride or dies here um, you guys know that I really like a red undertone as far as a bronzer or a contour. The only mistake that I did do with this concealer is that I applied way too much on my skin. I didn't think it was going to be that pigmented. Um, but just know that they are very pigmented. Like, the color is just strong. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't want to scare you, but they are very pigmented. So just keep that in mind if you are going to be using a shade to contour with. Also, keep in mind that you do not need a lot of product 
like I did. I applied way too much. And you also do get 0.30 ounces of product, which the tube looks pretty small, but you actually get a good amount of product considering the Fenty Beauty one has way less. The Kylie one has way less. It's also something to keep in mind if you are going to purchase them. I approve of them. I think they're a bomb as a formula for coverage. Very lightweight on the skin, super blendable. But yeah, guys, I totally recommend this. I love it. I give it a 10 out of 10. Let me know if you're going to pick this up. Let me know if you already have it. Let me know what you think of the product down below in the comment section. If you like my reviews, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Like the video, comment, share, subscribe. Do what you gotta do. Let me know if there's any other product that you guys want me to review. You guys know that I keep it 100 here. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. The links are in the description box below. I'm also going to leave a couple of videos here on the screen in case you've missed my recent uploads. And yeah, guys, I will catch you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.